Next up, we're moving on to our second type of loop in JavaScript. It's called the while loop. The while loop is syntactically simpler, and it's more flexible than a for loop in some ways. So the basic syntax looks like this. While some condition is true, run this code in here. So this condition can be anything you want, and then your code will run while that condition is true. So if we wanted to rewrite a simple for loop, where we have for let i equal 0, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus, and we're printing out i. If we wanted to rewrite that, I'm going to comment this out, where we simply get 0 through 5 printed out. With a while loop, we have to do a little bit more work up front. We need to initialize a variable for our counter. We could call it, let's go with num, or let's go with j. j starts at 0. While j is less than or equal to 5, in the loop, we actually have to add 1 to j. j++. And let's console.log j. Let's see what we get. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the for loop. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the while loop. So in these scenarios, where we're simply iterating through numbers, 0 to 5, I prefer a for loop because we don't have to make the variable up top separately. And once we talk about scope, you'll understand why that is a, it's an advantage, even if we still have to write the same declaration. It's a better practice to not create a variable outside of a loop whenever possible. So this is not the best use of a while loop, but it does work. This code in here is only going to run when this is true. So the first time through, j is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 5? Yes. So we console.log j. So we get our first 0. Then we add 1 to j, so j is now 1. Is j still less than or equal to 5? Yep. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. It continues until j is 5. That's still less than or equal to 5, so we print out 5. Then we add 1 to j, it's now 6. And now the loop is false. j is 6, which is not less than or equal to 5, so nothing happens. Well, not, it's not that nothing happens. Nothing in the loop runs. The loop is over, and any other code we had down here would run because the loop was complete. You can think of a while loop sort of like an if statement, a conditional plus a loop. And if you're simply trying to generate numbers, I prefer to use a for loop. Most people do. But there are other situations where a while loop is great, and I'm going to go into that in the next video.